companion drew in the dank, cold air of the tomb. It seemed to strengthen him. I stood in the doorway between light and dark. What was left of my sanity implored me not to enter. But that voice was just a whisper now. As we worked our way down deeper and deeper into the crypt, I began to see a change in my companion. He seemed to be gaining strength. I could hardly see in the gloom, but my companion seemed to know the way. We came at last to a great hall.
Chief told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. Ah, Kalim's eye. Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Well, I gave you my word and brought praise you. 
That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here, I've had the statuette of a golden bird for years. I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. Good day. Damn it. I wish you people would just leave me alone. I... Oh, you're new here, aren't you? I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves, and I can sell you some if you really need them. But don't make a habit of coming here. I don't like to be disturbed while I'm studying. Ah, the golden word of Guile. Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I've made for you. What do you need? From the ashes of Guile. I have mixed for you a potion. Oh, <laughs> 
witness may know something about this unusual blade. <laughs>
Mephisto's weakness. Look, you have done well, noble hero. Good. Now that fewer of the Iron Wolves are needed to guard the dark side, some of them have volunteered to accompany you free of charge. Magic ring does me no good.
Faith in you was well deserved. Good day. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 